Guess what? We got a prehistoric pet. Look at this giant Burmese python. Burmese pythons are the third largest snake in the world. And this one here wants to be the biggest snake in the world. She is massive at almost 19 feet. But can you believe this? They've been recorded up to 26 feet long. So I guess we're going to have to give this one a few meals. Wow, she is huge. We think she's not, we think she's uh, measured out in 19, uh, 18 six, but really we got to get a good measurement. Look at this. We were looking at her and, and look at her eye. She's got an eye cap. Oh. So I'm going to take that eye cap off. It looks like I can do it with my hand. Sometimes I have to use a knife. Uh oh. Oh, come on, girl. Come on. Her eye's so big, I can do it with my fingers. Look at that. So we got her eye cap off. Eye cap is basically leftover skin and uh, from a shed. I don't know when she shed last. Uh, I don't have a lot of information on her, except that she's over 20 years old. Uh, the guy had her from since she was five feet long, and she likes rabbits. And uh, so we're going to set her up for a new enclosure. I thought I'd take you guys with me. Now the question is, do you think I can even move her? Worse yet, after lunch on a full stomach? Oh man, I had a berm, I had a berm a little bigger than this one time and I could barely carry her. But we'll see how it goes. Here we go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry her. Oh man. She's a big Burmese python. Oh, you move that, uh, move that. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh, don't do that on a full stomach. Wow. So this is her new closure. Uh, she's the probably. She's not as long as some of her snakes. She's as thick as about any of our snakes. She's bigger than an anaconda. Who wants to see how big her anaconda is? We got big anaconda, but I think this one wins. We got a couple giant retics. Quite a bit longer than this, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to weigh this snake because it's she's heavy, heavy. I might have made it look light. Anyway, thought I'd share this big girl with you. I was told she lays 90 eggs at a time. And uh, that's not hard to believe. We have a record of, I think it's 92 eggs from one of our retics. Can you imagine if we had 100 Burmese eggs? Look at her. Woo! She looks good in her new enclosure. So we just temp this all out. It should be perfect. She has her gradient. She has hot spots, cool spots. We'll put the water. We just want to change the water out. Put some nice clean water down there. She can climb up here. Most of our snakes like it up there. We'll put a new light bulb up there, kind of get her ambient air temperature up, get her all set up, and make sure she feels at home here at the Reptile Zoo. Man, has anybody seen a bigger Burmese than this for a while? I know I haven't. She's huge. I think I was maybe 24 years old the last time I had a Burmese this big. I'm pretty excited. As far as I know, this could be one of my big Burmese babies that grew up. Uh, okay, well, we're going to let her get settled in, get some water in there. And man, she luck. I'm glad she's mellow. Could you imagine a snake with a head that big to bite you? And by the way, anybody had any questions about that boa? Update. That boa that I force fed ate six rabbits now. So we're going to have... Literally one of the biggest, I'm pretty sure I can say, one of the biggest Burmese pythons in California and the biggest red-tailed Guyana boa in maybe the whole U.S. So, pretty crazy. We're going to let her sit settled in. And uh, who wants to see some update video on that boa? She's getting her weight back. She's eating really good. And we hope to, uh, when she sheds next time, I'm going to pull her out. I don't want to move her because she had never eaten. Man, we're so excited. Anyway, giant snakes.